Hey, g'day Luke, this is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Uh, just doing a quick video tour on our 2022 Mitsubishi Triton, sitting here in front of me, absolute glamour of a car. Um, I understand, mate, you're obviously down south, so I thought I'd do this little video tour for you, so i give you, obviously, a better look through the car than obviously what you can see online. Uh, we are Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Uh, lucky enough to have two massive big pre-owned yards up here, so I'm currently standing at 235 Mulgrave Road. Uh, you can see we're pretty jam-packed at the moment, besides the driveway. Uh, we're lucky enough to have uh, another yard up at 77 Mulgrave Road as well, just for our extra stock. And you can obviously see our Toyota Lexus showroom, service apartments, everything down the street there as well. So that means we get some absolutely awesome cars, just like this Triton, um, incredibly low kilometers as well. So just the sort of stock that we do look for, um, as we do turn over a little bit over 200 vehicles a month. So pretty particular about the cars that we do get. Um, for super tidy, no chips or anything across the windscreen. All our cars, we of course, guarantee. No write-offs, no flood damage, no hail damage or any of that kind of stuff. Um, that's just a little bit. We did have some pretty hectic rain last night, so there is a little bit of dust over the car. I did give it a quick chamois, um, but there is a little bit there. So two tiny little sort of stone chips just there itself. That one's just a little bit of dirt that's come off. So a couple of little tiny sort of stone chips across the, the actual front there, just those common ones that you do see, mate. If they are a concern for you, let me know, and I'm sure we can get those uh, touched up for you. Shouldn't be a drama at all. Very tidy through the back here. That's just a little moth that wants to be part of the video. Fortunately, we won't throw him as part of it. Okay, just a little tiny one there as well. I did kick these wheels out for you too because I wanted to see the tread and everything through there as well. Super tidy through the springs and the setup as well. We've got these awesome tough alloys on the front as well and of course on the back there too. Very tidy through there. And then of course being in the, uh, to the front of the grill as well, looking very tidy. And again, those same tough wheels. Such good looking wheels, I love these things, I'm a big fan of them. And pretty much brand new tyres there too. Same thing through the inside. Exceptionally well looked after. So I'll just keep cruising around this passenger side for you. Try and be as picky as we possibly can for you. But incredibly tidy through here. Not really much I can show you just yet. Sit down there. Looks like a tiny sort of little mark. So maybe a little bit of sunscreen got there just from someone's hand being like that, but again, it's something our detailers can take a look at, see if they could potentially get that out for you if it is a concern. Floor mats, whole way around as well. All that sort of stuff we just leave in the car. Uh, no holes or anything like that in the dash, of course. So full manuals, books, everything's all on the inside here. So it was a private owner from down south. Obviously no service history just yet, considering it's only done absolutely 7,500 7, kilometres, so due to service at 15,000 or uh, 12 months for the first one. So still got only uh, halfway through its uh, service cycle. Um, these beautiful solid handles on the, on the entryway and the drop-down ones as well on all four doors. I absolutely love those because during the wet weather and stuff like that, it makes it really nice and easy to get into the bigger cars. So just like these ones here, so the whole way around. So it's super tidy all through here. obviously the uh, rear door now as well now these windows aren't tinted uh, we can do that in-house for you though too especially with this time of year being obviously the hotter months you got the child locks on the back there too so I'm very clean through the inside here like I said we've got these mats the whole way around it's just our brochures and everything so a couple of those all through the middle there too so you got this little strap there as well it's going to come forward and you can see your jack and everything down the bottom there too Tidy. Just trying to show you up under these seats there as well for you. I'm not tall enough to reach up there, so hopefully that gives you a bit of a view though. The tub tray there as well. Tiny little bits of use through there, but the tub tray is exactly what they're for. Little bits of use through there. Uh, tie down points in the one in the corners as well, all four corners. Uh, fuel releases just on this side here too. And that is just the uh, from the factory how they come brand new. We've got these beautiful plastics um, that pick up the stone chips, stuff like that, so they don't go directly into the paint itself. And again, those uh, tough all-terrain wheels, ATs the whole way around, and obviously the Bridgestone all-terrains, pretty much brand new tyres. As you can see through the chassis and everything, and of course the spare tyre there as well. Rear parking sensors across the back, little reverse camera tucked up into the tailgate there too. Tiny little mark just there, but nothing too bad. Same thing down the bottom. You'll see the tow bar there too. I say a flat pin seven plug in there. Yep. And 
like I said, super tidy all through there, steel rim underneath. So no cracks or any damage or anything like that to the actual uh, headlights themselves, the taillights, sorry. And again, pretty tidy through there. So finally just had our last wheel for you. Very tidy through here. And again, these floor mats, like I said, the fitted ones the whole way around. Stops them sliding, which is always good, being the genuine stuff. And finally, just that driver's door as well. Very clean through there. Little tiny little sort of scuff just there. Again, I reckon I could talk to the details, see if we can get them out. Let's say just from boots. Uh, obviously, being the highest traffic area of the car, just from boots catching the little plastics from uh, jumping in and out. But it's always, always a question we can ask. You just got to let us know. Uh, bonnet, a few releases just there for you. Bonnet releases just tucked around the back, so that one there. So I'll pop that because I do want to show you underneath there as well. Uh, we got the little height adjustments and the seat adjustments just here, so we can fold those. It's going to give you a different angle. Raise up that seat a little bit so short people like me can actually see out of the bonnet. Uh, two genuine keys, of course, with this one with the central locking on both of those. And of course, we can start them up. So as we jump inside, turn that radio down. Straighten up these wheels so you can see. Alright, so only 7,539 kilometers. No engine lights or dash lights or anything like that, of course. Um, just only the, obviously the, I'm not wearing the seat belts, so the little new cater's there and the handbrake's on as well. Uh, other than the steering wheel, so really nice and easy, nice controls, so while you're actually driving, they're just operated through your thumbs. So all your phone controls, you can answer and hang up the calls there down here at the bottom here too. And all your radio options are there as well. So up on the display, you can see we can jump between AM, FM, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff from the steering wheel here as well. So change songs, volume, all that kind of stuff as well, makes it nice and easy. Uh, on the right hand side here, so cruise controls all there for you too, down different little pages, button down the bottom there too. So currently we're set to two-wheel drive, so that's why the back ones are highlighted. As soon as we're going to four-wheel drive, the rest of them will engage for you. I'll show you those in just a second. Um, obviously, when we're due for the next service, still 7,500 cases to go. All your different settings, everything, trip meters, you name it. We're all operated and controlled through this one here as well. Uh, headlights are all up on the right-hand side, so we've got an automatic setting for those guys too. So you flick that to automatic. Uh, they're going to daytime, nighttime, underground car parks, you name it. They're going to turn on and off as they need to. Otherwise, parkers, headlights, high beams, blinkers, and they're all operated from there like normal. Uh, wipers are all up on the left hand side and you've got an automatic setting for those guys as well um, on the right hand side of the dash here so the mirror controls so left and right side of the car you adjust those as you need to uh, traction control lane departure warnings and of course your full collision, collision mitigation so basically these ones here uh, if you do start to drift up the lanes it's going to beep it's going to notify you and let you know and of course your full collision so if someone in front of you slams on the brakes and you're not paying attention the car will actually react and brake for you so to help assist basically to avoid that collision as well now, up on the main display here, so as soon as we put that into reverse, you've got that little camera and the sensors kicking off at the back. Best thing about this is you can physically see the actual tow by itself. So back up to trailers and stuff like that is an absolute breeze with these guys. And of course, the rear bumper there as well. So that beeping noise is your parking sensors picking up that car behind us. So right on that red line is about a foot away from the back of the car. Um, that's when it becomes, obviously, the closer we get to that. So as I start to get the handbrake off. So that becomes a flat tone. And that's pretty much a safe distance to be able to walk between and you don't want to go any closer. That's just a nice comfortable distance for you. Um, if you don't like that beeping and it does annoy you, that turns it off as well. So as soon as we go back to park, that obviously disappears. Um, all touchscreen, nice big touch buttons up here so we can jump straight into the radio side of things. So again, we can go to different stations, uh, AM, FM, you name it, all through there. We've got uh, absolutely stacks of different um, favorites you can have and everything like that. Once your phone's connected, a little home button at the top here is going to bring you to the AM, FM, Bluetooth, uh, all that sort of stuff operated through there as well. So your phone calls, you name it, makes life real nice and easy. Um, Aircon controls in the bottom, fan speed in the middle, hazard lights there as well. Anyone in the back that's mucking around, got their, their seat belts off or anything like that while you're driving, these ones are going to illuminate, they're going to let you know. Uh, USBs in the bottom, sensory plug in there, and of course, like I said, that little button for the, all the sensors to turn those on and off. Um, that's your full drive down the bottom here. So again, with the, the Mitsubishi, so chuck that down into neutral. Currently we're in two high, so that's what you want to drive around town in and on the bitumen. So as soon as we flick that across, you're going to see that now come up, engaging that center diff. Now because we are stationary, it might take a little second. Sometimes you do have to give it a little bit of encouragement by driving forward a few meters, things like that. There you go, so put it into drive, that's now fully engaged. 
We've got that four, four high at the top there. So you don't want to really drive this on the bitumen. It's not very good for the, four, uh, the transmission and everything like that. You really want to only use it for um, beach runs, um, dirt highways, anywhere where you're driving 80 k's, 100 k's an hour, all your normal gearing, all the normal driving, uh, but basically on loose roads, not the actual bitumen itself, because it's not very good for the car. So if we go push that down and then go across to four low, you'll then see all your uh, traction control and everything as well. Put that into neutral, so it gives you the little guide telling you what to do. Hear that engage, there we go, full low, track control, everything all turns off as well. So all your safety settings and all your mitigations are all now switched off. So as soon as we now put that back in. So again, you just be patient with it, do it one at a time, let it fully engage, fully disengage as it needs to. And then back to that two-wheel drive option there as well. Same thing, if it ever doesn't fully engage because you're going through all three modes, simply put it into drive or reverse, uh, move in a straight line, and then you'll see that now fully engages properly. Just gives it that chance to catch up with everything. So the way, back into park, nice and easy. That's pretty much him. So we've got the adjustable seat belts, all the handles, everything like that, real nice and easy through the inside here. Um, like I said, I do want to leave this car running because I do, did pop that bonnet and I want to show you into the bonnet before we uh, finish up. Absolutely glamour day here in Cairns. You'd never know that we had torrential stuff yesterday. So a beautiful little 2.4 common rail turbo diesel motor in there with the uh, big battery in the back there as well. Incredibly tidy, super well looked after, looking Pretty much a brand new car sitting here. So mate, thanks again for your inquiry, Luke. Can't wait to hear your feedback soon, mate.